I, I, I want to know, who can you trust outside of the top six? I'm going to lean DiVincenzo. I'm going to lean DiVincenzo. Yeah, I think DiVincenzo has been pretty spectacular for this team all year in the roles that he's been given. And I don't think game one and game two were accurate depictions of his impact this right. year. I think he, more than anyone else, had to adjust to the Wiggins um, insertion. And so I think now he's adjusted a little, and I think you're going to get a bigger impact from him. All right. 954 Comcast Business Text Line saying you can trust Moody outside of the foundational six. 408, Moody outside of the foundational foundational six. Who can you trust outside of Steph, Clay, Dre, Wiggins, Looney, and Jordan Poole? Who can you trust in this game? Who can Steve Kerr trust? Let's go to Garrett in Sacramento. Actually, a Kings fan, Garrett. Hi, Garrett. Garrett, what's happening? Hey, guys. Love the show, but today... You guys know the Jordan flu game? Oh, yeah. This is going to be the De'Aaron Fox finger game, baby. I, I, another 38 burger coming. Kings role players show up. Kings by 12 tonight. Book it. I'm going to leave that one alone because my mind went to a place that it shouldn't have gone to. Finger game just doesn't have the same ring to it as a flu game. No. We all agree chicken fingers are delicious, though, correct? Chicken fries I'm more of a fan of, but yeah, chicken really? fingers are delicious. Chicken fingers, is it a difference between fingers it, and tenders? It's just a name, yeah. It's just like skinny. Slightly different, yeah. I like little, tenders. What? Yeah, I don't like the fingers. I like tenders. I mean, well, they're are very they comparable. Same? They're very uh, comparable. Yeah, well, I th- fingers I, are like skinny, right? Yeah, like, I would consider them skinnier. Yeah, fingers are skinnier. They're yeah. more strips. I like, I like the tenders, like just big. Yeah, those don't those know are more like huge chunks. In. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I'm with you on that. That's what I'm about. That's what I'm about. You know, I God, I miss those ones down at the Levi's. Oh, know. the tenders? Oh, those are so good. They're hit or miss. Depends if we get the right batch. Sometimes you don't get the right batch. Can you uh, replace the oil the king is coming through? He would like a fresh batch of oil. Uh, if, you, if you get some chicken tenders, you are not going to you're gonna miss the first quarter because that's how long it's going to take yeah, to get those chicken tenders. No doubt. Especially if they're free for season ticket holders, so. You're probably not gonna get them, but I'm not Sam Loving. I'm not. I'm not asking for extra garlic. Although there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. You get what you get. The finger game. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, if he can have a performance tonight, given the injury, yeah, it'll be a heroic performance. It just doesn't the finger game? It just doesn't. It doesn't hit. Yeah, it doesn't hit. Riri, San Francisco. Riri, what's happening? Rihanna? No, it's not. Is it Rihanna? <laughs> No, it's Rai Rai. <laughs> oh, Rai Rai. Oh, damn. Totally I different. thought it was Riri. Totally different. Damn. Rai I thought Rai. I was going to ask you about the Super Bowl. What's up, Rai Rai? <laughs> no, the, uh, you know what? That Pac Man's delusional. You can't have a finger game if you haven't even been to the finals. But, um, anyways, uh, back to. Uh, so, what, got, what they should do tonight is I think they should start Draymond or Gary Payton. Um, I think we should pressure Fox from the get-go. I think if we pressure I'm not saying injure him. I'm saying pressure him, make him show that he really is not capable for the game. I think we can shut it down. And I think this is a game where game five is over. We're going to go to game six. I got a ticket to game six, so I need to see the finale here back on Friday. Mm. Yeah, I would love to see that. Oh, Friday night. Sacramento with their backs against the wall. Whew. Chris Cupertino. Hey, Chris. Let's talk about who can you trust outside of the core. What's up, Chris? What's up? How we doing? Oh, man. Doing another great. day, another dollar. Yeah, I was just going over about who we can trust outside the core as far as our starting five. And I think we need to really utilize uh, Moses Moody's minutes, to be honest. He gives me that young uh, Iggy vibe. He's, he's athletic. He can shoot the three. And to be honest with you, I think he's a pretty good rebounder. You know what? You're, not, you're like the fifth person now who said Moody's the guy you trust. The second year player out of Arkansas, not even not even old enough to drink, and maybe he is. Maybe he just had a birthday. Uh, that's surprising to me. No one over over DiVincenzo. You know what? Moody has played some good minutes. Oh wow! Moses Moody turns twenty one May thirty first. May thirty first, he turns twenty one. Moses Moody. He did have a good spell in the second uh, game number two, uh, coming in spelling for Draymond Green. Uh, when Draymond Green got into foul trouble, I thought he played well in game number three. Uh, stand in front of Malik Buck on defense. He had some quarter threes, some big threes there in the first half for the Golden State Warriors. I like that. Moses Moody, because he is a guy, Shasky, that, look, is he the most dynamic player? Probably not. 
but he doesn't let the moment get to him. You know what I'm saying? Well, like he, he just seems steady no matter what. It could be 15 people in the gym. It could be 15,000 fans. It doesn't matter. You just know that you're going to get the same output from Moses Moody. You're going to get the same hustle. He's going to play hard. Mm -hmm. He's going to be in that corner. I don't think I don't think the moment's too big for him. So I, I kind of like the Moody call. Uh, the Moody one isn't bad. It's just it's tough for a rook to you know have big shine. Now, can he have some key minutes? A couple of key minutes? Yeah. Right. I felt like his defense on Malik Monk and on De'Aaron Fox was really good in terms of his lateral movement and his length. He rebounded well. The thing that he provides that GP2 doesn't is he can knock down the corner three a little more consistently. Right, I mean, I have more. I have more faith in Moody's three point shot than GP 2s so I'm sure the numbers would right. say they're very similar, um, but uh, it feels like teams aren't even guarding GP two when he's out in the corner. They're basically saying, "We will give this to you," yeah, and it's well, really kind of screwed up their spacing. Well, he's two for six so far in the series from the three point line. Where you look at Moses Moody, and Moses Moody's three of seven, so they're shooting around the same percentage from the three point line. Uh, but who do you trust outside to find those foundational six? We'll get to De'Ara Fox in just a second. But Steve Kerr with the heavy minutes here. I think that was the, you know, Casey and D'Lo asked me yesterday at ESP 1320, you know, did the Warriors throw everything they have in the game four? And I believe they did. Because the box score tells you Kerr went to his dudes. Yes. He went to the dudes. But he wasn't how, messing around. And to me, that's how series go, though. Like, I mean, yes, you might break an egg in, in, in case of an emergency if someone goes in foul trouble. But, like, as the series goes on, you figure out who you can trust and who you can't. And maybe you have eight that you trust. By you get time you get to game five, maybe there's really only seven and a half or, right. or six and a half, right? Like, right. So, yeah, I, I, that doesn't surprise me. Wow. Wow. 408, Comcast Business Sex Line. I trust Dante Moody more than Poole. He's just so out of control off the well. Poole's been really good. The he last was two great games. in the first half of game yeah. one. I want to see him bottle that up. Who's that? Poole. Oh, I think did, game three. No, I meant I'm just about on the road. Oh, on the road. So, on so the like road. for yeah, him yeah, on yeah, the road, yeah, like yeah, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. if he could try to bottle up what he did in game one uh, in that first half, that would be huge for them. Right. They need him to have a complete uh, two half game on the road. I thought I thought Poole was. Look, I look at the turnovers. So far, pull only five tur turnovers through yeah, four games. He's good. Take that all day long. Now, a three point shot hasn't been hitting for him, uh, but that's been the case all season for JP. JP shot 32% from the three point line this season. I mean, it's just he's got to work on that shot. And so far in the series, he's just at 23.8% from three. So he's got to get that shot going there. Outside of Steph and Clay, I mean, you see Andrew Wiggins 29%, Jordan Poole 23.8% from three. So. But the spacing, I do think, creates more open looks for yeah. them, but I'll live with those open looks. Let's go to Jeff in the city. Jeff, what's happening? You're on the roast. Hey, man. What's going on? Love the show. Keep on doing your thing. Um, I'm going to be quick here and say, and maybe a little controversial and say that I trust Kaminga. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, this kid's not even 20 yet, or maybe he is 20, I'm not sure, but he is athletic, and if you look at the games he was in, he's bothering people down low. I mean, he's jumping over everyone. So we need that athletic ability um, and that youthfulness, candidly. So I think Kaminga is the guy we trust. You know, the thing is, is he's got to earn it. And so when he's out there, because I think he will get a, an opportunity. But when he's out there, he's got to crash the glass hard. Like, that would be my number one thing for him, whether on offense or on defense. But he has got to crash. Isn't that difficult when you're guarding on a perimeter? Of course it is. Of course it is. I mean, that's why Clay Thompson's. I always thought Clay Thompson, oh, Clay should rebound better. It's right. like, dude, he's guarding point guards. I always thought that was a little uh, too difficult to ask. Mm -hmm. But now, like, Clay is a little closer to the hoop and he's rebounding better. I think they're yep. they're connected. And the same thing can be said for Kaminga. But on offense, B, he cannot just stand in the corner. Yep. That's the one thing he no can't doubt. do. No doubt. He's got to crash. He's got to cut. He's got to do all that. Hey, man, 415 Comcast Business Text Line. Love the show always. This is Victor of Sonoma. I trust the Rooks quite a bit. I know that the trust, trust the coach trusts them as well. But he's not trust them so far, really, in the playoffs. Um, I, I don't know if you could trust Kamiga. I love Kamiga. I thought he would be a big factor. I'm iffy Boy, on if that. You could, it, I'm iffy I, on I that. seen Iguodala in game four, yeah. had to console him. I watched him in game three. Nobody caught this, but game three, he gets subbed out. Instead of going over, you know how they walk closer mm -hmm, to the mm -hmm. sideline to high five the coach and the players? He walked, he did a beeline straight to the end of the bench. Straight to the bit. You can't do that. You can't do that. You start moping and stuff. And then Steve Chris, dude, you're not playing the second half. Yeah. So he's got to he's got to well, mature a little bit more when he's not getting his way or not getting his minutes and just be a little patient. I know it's tough, 
I'm trying to win. We're in the business of winning games. Yeah. Right? We're in the business of winning games. This isn't experimental mode. So. Can they win a game if, if Steph Curry doesn't have 25 plus? That's a great question. That's a great question. I mean, we're talking about all their road woes and everything. Like, I don't know that there's a path to them winning. Well, I mean, I would love to be proven wrong. Well, but I'm saying I think I have a very hard time visualizing a path to them winning with Curry dropping less than 25. Well, Steph is averaging 31 and a half for the series. Shasky, I don't think so. He scores 25. Am I guaranteed to get 25, 30 from Clay? I mean, even when you hold the Kings down, it feels like they're getting 120 plus. Right, Steph's got to be Steph. That's what I'm saying. Like, Steph's he's going to have to score. Steph's got to be Steph. Let's go to Lamont and Oakland. It's a lot of fun here. Hey, Lamont, Lamont and Oakland, what's happening? You're on the roast. Hey, good morning, man. I'm over here uh, in traffic going to Keith and PE, man. Um, so you guys got me fired up, man. I got to be like, dude, why are you coming here so fired up? Um, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> anyway, I love it. listen, you guys, are, you guys are nailing it, man. I just want to piggyback on Moody. I'm one of the uh, five, six, and seven guys who want to point in Moody's way. Remember last year, man, this dude came off the bench. He had some very surprising clutch shots. I mean, the dude just, he's, he's, he's very mature for his age, man. You can just see the look on his face. He knows what to do when he gets the ball. He's like, dude, I'm either going to shoot this thing or I'm going to drive to the basket. He's going for the rebounds. I'm pointing at Moody, man. Do not sleep on Moody. That dude's a hustler, man. He, he's, a, he's an all-around hustler. Man. I'm not mad at the Moody call. I'm not it's, mad. If we would have suggested this three weeks ago, wouldn't we have all laughed? You're not yeah. wrong. I'm just saying, like, wouldn't we have all laughed? I mean, yeah, we would have. But that's 13, how the playoffs is. 13 points, three rebounds, 15 minutes, 47 seconds, game number three, game four. He only played about 522. But I don't know if Steve Kerr can get away with just playing six guys in this game. No. Up in Sacramento. Well, the other thing that they cannot do is they've got to keep the turnovers under 13. Yeah. To me, that's the key. Yeah. I'm circling 13. I they like stay that. under that number. Yeah. I think that they're they going to be in this game because it's those careless ones at half court yep. that lead to transition buckets in the other way. Not only do they lose in the fast break point category, they lose in the easy bucket points in the paint category, and you're losing the turnover yep. battle. So that one, to me, I think is a bigger indicator than we're willing to admit. Well, game three, game three, they flipped it, right? 22 to seven when it came to points all turnovers. Game four, Sacramento. Led that one plus three, 18 to 15. 18 to 15 when it came to points off turnovers. However, the Warriors only turned the ball over 12 times. So to your point, when they're 13 and under, they're a damn good basketball team. Now, of course, the last time in Sacramento, they turned the ball over nine times. Nine times in the first quarter and 22 times in the game. So you can't do that. You turn the ball over more than 16 times against this team, you're probably going to lose. Yeah. So and, I like that. 12 turnovers. Uh, and they the got to keep Fox. They got to keep Fox under 35. That's the number for me. That's the sweet spot for me. Or if he does go off, I mean, make him a value sc score. Well, he has to be an ISO guy. He can't. Right. He can't be a guy that's also, you know, kicking out to open right. shooters who are knocking down shots because you got to pick one or the other. He had a big game four, but you know what? Four of eleven for three, fourteen to thirty-one from the floor. He made him a value score. Yeah. So I'm not. I'm not mad at that. All right. Uh, let's go to. Calvin in St. Louis before the break. Calvin in St. Louis. Then we get the BPA and uh, Jeff and Hayward on the other side. Calvin, what's happening? You're on the roast. Man, come on, man. I cannot believe y'all said Steph Curry got to score more than 30. And who else? Y'all got Clay Thompson on that team. Remember? When Clay wasn't around, they never won a championship. And do y'all remember this year when Clay came back in for Steph when Steph was out the game? Clay was averaging more than 35 points. You know why? Because Clay knew how to facilitate. Clay facilitated Kuminga, and Kuminga did good when Clay was in the game. But when Steph Curry came back, right, and everybody was bragging on Clay Thompson, Steph stopped passing the ball to Clay. I mean, and then Poole stopped passing the ball to Clay, which the word is fluidity. Clay Thompson works on fluidity, being fluid with the ball. One step, one step. Curry came back, and Clay Thompson had that three hundred three pointers. It's like when Steph, when Clay starts off the game real good, then Steph comes up. He wasn't passing the ball, dribbling all the time, turning over the ball. Poole was dribbling all the time. Let me ask you this, Calvin. Let me ask you this, Calvin, because we all trust Clay. We 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 all Clay's going to get his. But who do you trust outside of the five additional six? Okay, that's what my that's what my point is, guys. I just told you the answer. Kuminga. 
Remember two years ago when Kuminga came in? That's why everybody was talking about him because this guy came in the game with good averages and putting it on things. You say, well, that was two years ago. My point is, guys, he was high out of college. He was playing. Now that Steve Kerr's not playing that man like they're not giving no more time, we doing ourselves a disfavor and doing the Kings a favor. You got to sit there and trust your bench. We have no choice, guys. This yeah, is no our doubt. last leg. If you're going to use your last leg, utilize everything. Don't All benefit right. the other team by sitting up and starting the starters, wearing them down, and then they might be tired for the next round. Use what's on your bench and utilize it. That's what a good coach is for, guys. All right, All right Calvin. He's fired up in St. Louis. He's fired. Oh, he's going off about Clay. Clay's fine. Nobody's, Clay's played. Clay's played 35 to 40 Do you minutes. wish you had an accent like that or any no. accent? No, I like my accent. Yeah? I like. I guess ours is also considered an accent because it's yeah. exclusive to this particular territory. Right, to the Bay. Yeah. It's Bay. It's just kind of a weird accent, right? You got yeah. weird accents. Yeah. No, I know. Calvin, it's just, Calvin's funny. Calvin's I love funny hearing dude. from people from all across Calvin, the country. Remember Calvin called us for the first time like a month ago. He's like, I found y'all in... It's one of our P1s now. I know. And his wife, remember his wife was on the line too? She called. She was talking. Calvin, man, would you want to watch a game with Calvin? Oh, he yeah. seems fired up. Oh, yeah. Me, Calvin, Rocco, we're oh, all chilling. <laughs> throwing water bottles. I wouldn't come. I would not come within 1,000 feet of that household. Shout out Rocco. I love Rocco. Rocco's a fun guy to work. You know what? I need, last week I was worried about you, Shasky. You were Sausalito Joe. I need a Rocco. Sausalito is a beautiful place to live. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I'm it, not it, accepting Sausalito slander. Sausalito Joe. I might Joe. retire there. You know what I mean by Sausalito Joe. You know what I mean. So, Sushi Ron? Rocco, he's here for the smoke. He wouldn't let no Kings fans talk. Um, all right. Your call's coming up. BPA, Jeff, and Hayward. All right, we'll continue BPA. to break this down. Yeah. All right. No doubt. Who do you trust outside of the top six? 